Now, payments, show me the money, right? This is where that happens. So you can do several things in here. Um, you can create one-off invoices or reoccurring invoices to send to customers. If that's part of your business model, you can absolutely do that in here. The first thing you need to do, obviously, is integrate your Stripe or your PayPal. Um, and the way you do that, uh, let me just show you, is the integrations button. You also can do authorize.net. Um, PayPal or Stripe. Um, if you do it in Stripe, you're going to want to do obviously test mode and live mode. Uh, there are help guides here showing you how to do that. PayPal is a little more complex, but they do have a how to find it because it is a way. You do need to have your PayPal converted to a business account to do so though. So that's just little side note, little rabbit trail, just letting you know. So here's the invoices. You would be able to see all of the invoices that you have inside of your account, um, if they are paid, if they are pending, if they're overdue, um, any orders or transactions that have happened and gone through your account, you can see here. Um, subscriptions, you can charge subscriptions. So you can charge, you know, for your $27 a month membership, your $97 a month membership, whatever that is, or a payment plan. You can also set up a payment plan for people to pay. Um, transactions is kind of just a running total of everything, all of your payments in one place, just as it says. Products, um, if we had, and I believe we have to, no, we can. We can do a My Demo product, okay? And this is the, um, say it was the Video Marketing 101 course, okay? And it is a digital good. We can put a picture of it here. And how much is it? We're going to say it's a one-time charge. And it's one time and it's 197 or 198, 197. And then um, are you going to offer part of a membership? So do you have a product in your membership offer that they get apps in your membership area? We'll get to that next or in a few. Um, do you have a product that you've created, a digital product inside of your Easy PC account that they now get access to when they pay for the video marketing course? If so, then you select it here. Again, this is a very broad overview, just showing you what is possible. You can also have coupon code. Coupons, that is a big one. To create a coupon, um, let's just say it's friends. Friends, okay. And what is the code? It is friend. Okay, and it is a percentage off or a fixed amount. When is it good for? When does it end? How many times can it be redeemed? Or can it only be redeemed on certain products? So if it can only be redeemed maybe two times, um, maybe it's specific. Um, I'll give you an example. I have a woman who has a meal delivery business. And so she has coupons for free shipping. She has certain people who she gives just $10 off to. Um, we have a new coupon for every single person who has that eligibility. The coupon is their last name. Um, and we do the last name so that if we see that Sue Smith has redeemed a coupon saying Wilson, well, that Sally Wilson gave still Sue Smith her coupon. So we can limit the amount of times it can be used as well. And that helps us um, obviously setting up your tax settings. Um, there's not a whole lot more beyond this, but you can send invoices and you can charge them for products. Now, if you are selling a digital product, program, course, membership, whatever, um, on a sales page with a checkout form, you set up the product right in the products, set up your product, like we said, the video marketing course. And then when you go and we'll get to that in the funnels part of this course um, or the funnels video, wherever you're watching this, if you have a sales page that talks about the video marketing course and you want to sell that course on that sales page in that funnel, you'll have to select that product and I'll show you where to do that. So that's done in two different places, but you want to set the product up here and then go and set up the pretty page to sell it on. Um, if you set up the page first, you'll just have to come back here to set up the product. So <laughs> either way, um, that is what happens in the payments tab. Now we're going to jump on down to the fun stuff. Um, we are going to look at the marketing tab.